Hello everyone, hello YouTube, this is Felipe, o Gato de Salto, and today I'm here with another amazing, fabulous video for you about our Samba Wells. We'll be talking about Salgueiro 2022, so the Samba Enredo of Salgueiro 2022, and now we'll be explaining it all for you. Welcome back to my channel Samba World, where I try to bring an outer video every week talking about this beautiful Samba World, everything that is related to carnival, parades, costumes, dancing, music, all for you. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and share this video and this channel with all of your enthusiastic friends so we can make our community grow, obviously. This week we're starting a new series in which I will be explaining the Samba Enredos for you for this next carnival in 2022. So if you don't know what Samba Enredos are, make sure you check out this video that I'll leave the link up here. So, because I already explained it last week. And this week we're gonna start with Sao Gil, one of my favorite schools. I think it's my favorite school. I mean, everyone knows I love Sao Gil. And Sao Gil chose an amazing Enredo for this year called Resistencia or Resistance. Many schools this year are actually talking about resistance and um, fighting racism and we can definitely see the inspiration that the Black Lives Matter movement brought to the carnival scene because there are really one, two, three, at least three schools who are out there in the lyrics talking about um, resistance and let's fight for rights and against racism which is very very interesting and important and I applaud them and I also applaud Saugir, my beloved Saugir. Of course before we even start checking the lyrics please remember I am a normal person, I am a passionate Brazilian samba dancer, I am not a historian, I am not an academic for this, uh, for Brazilian culture and history. Everything that I'm doing is my own time that I take to research and I go as deep as I want to go, sometimes as I can. Um, so I will do my best to explain everything, some things I don't know. If you notice that I'm talking about something that is completely wrong, please let me know in the comments and, you know, enlighten me. Say, Felipe, you were talking BS, this is not what it's meant. and it's fine, okay? Just, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convey here um, my knowledge and everything that I know. So, let's start. Um dia meu irmão de cor, so one day my colored brother Chorou por uma falsa liberdade, cried over a fake freedom. Cao cabecile so de xango. Cao cabecile, as I've already explained in my Orisha videos, especially the one about xango, um, is the greeting, is the salutation, the Yoruba salutation said to xango. And xango, Orisha of Justice is also the patron Orisha of the school Salguero. So it's nice that again Salguero is greeting Xangô in the lyrics in the lyrics of their Samba Enredo. Punho erguido pela igualdade. So punho is like fist, erguido, lifted for equality. Punho erguido pela igualdade. Hoje, cativeiro é favela. Today, captivity is the favela. De herdeiros sentinelas. From sentinelas, heirs. Now, sentinelas are guards, sentries, sentinels. Every time I talk about sentinels, I, I have to think of the Matrix movie. Um, <laughs> de bala que marca feito chibata. And now I like already this sentence. So, de bala que marca feito chibata. So, from bullets that mark like a whip. And here you have again a, a very deep social criticism that back then the people of color, in this case, 
were marked, had their bodies marked by the whip and nowadays by bullets. Vermelho na pele dos meus heróis. Red on the skin of my heroes. Red representing the blood, definitely, that would come out of this, you know, wounds. But also red is the color of the school. So I like the poetry behind it. Lutaram por nós contra a mordaça. They fought for us against the gag. Mordaça is the gag that, the, you know, enslaved people sometimes had to wear. So that piece of, of, of leather, I think it was, with the chains. E mãe preta, mãe baiana. So e black mother, mother, baiana. Now the baianas are also very important figures within a samba school. I'll have to make another video about them, but they represent the direct connection between samba and candomblé and umbanda. They were priestesses. So um, they also, they are seen as this motherly figure within the school and within, you know, the candomblé and umbanda religion. Desce o morro para fazer história. Goes downhill to make history. So all these priestesses who had to go downhill. Why do we always talk about going downhill? Desce o morro. Because most of the favelas, they were pushed away from the plains of Rio, where the city is, onto the hills. Like, um, you know, they had to go up the morro. And what you are, and this is, is also part of, 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 of language. You are, you live or you are in the morro. So you are in the favela on the hill and you go down to the same do morro. I'm going downhill, so into the city, and I'm going uphill, vou subir o morro, going back into the favela. So it's interesting. So it's very interesting. So going downhill to make history. Me formei na academia, bacharel em harmonia. I graduated in the academy, bachelor in harmony. Academia is also a, a nickname for Salgueiro. It, they call themselves Academia do Samba and Bacharel in Harmonia. Harmony also um, making a reference to the world of carnival, not only the music harmony, but also the harmony in the parade. So how the parade is organized. Eis aqui o meu quilombo escola. So here is my quilombo escola. Quilombo is another word that is very, very important for Brazilians and Brazilian history and culture because Quilombo, we had different Quilombos. It's people who were enslaved and managed to escape or freed themselves in a way, they would go live in Quilombos, which were kind of smaller organized societies um, of ex-enslaved people who survived together and even sometimes fought back um, the, the powers of the, of the society at their times. So we have many Quilombos who were very, very famous, but one specifically Quilombo dos Palmares. Um, we'll be talking about that a bit later. But here it says, Eis aqui o meu Quilombo Escola. So this is, here is my Quilombo School. So again, we have the Mãe Preta, Mãe Baiana, who goes downhill to make history. So when she goes downhill, she gets into the school, the academy, where I graduated in harmony. And this is my quilombo, this is my safe area. When I managed to escape the oppressions of slavery, I came to this quilombo, my school. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Even sometimes I get goosebumps. <laughs> E galanga e rei zumbi oba. So these are two figures, okay? Um, very important figures. Galanga was actually a monarch, an African king who was imprisoned and enslaved and in, taken to Brazil. And in Ouro Preto, a city in Minas Gerais, he was baptized 
Chico, Francisco, and then nicknamed Francisco Rei, because he used to be a king of Ouro Preto. And then we have one of the most famous black names in Brazilian history, Zumbi, Zumbi dos Palmares. Zumbi was also an ex-slave who managed to escape and went to the Quilombo, Quilombo dos Palmares, that's the name of the Quilombo, and there he was one of the last kings of this Quilombo, because it was like a monarchy, this Quilombo was organized in a monarchical kind of way. So Quilombo, uh, so Rei Zumbi was the, one of the last kings of um, the Quilombo dos Palmares. Zumbi was a Quilombola leader, he was a one of the pioneers of the resistance for these black enslaved people who were enslaved by the Portuguese in colonial Brazil. And Oba is, just means chief, boss in a way, so the chief, the leader, okay? So we are talking about these two people who were kings, who were leaders, and we have their names. Um, so E Galanga, E Zumbi, Oba, Oba being chief in Yoruba. Preta aqui virou rainha, chica. So, preta, black, in this case, feminine preta, black women here, became a queen, chica. And here again, we have another very important character of Brazilian history, Brazilian black history, Chica da Silva. Francisca da Silva Oliveira, or dearly called Chica da Silva, was a black enslaved woman who was notoriously beautiful. He was, she was said to be amazingly gorgeous and who lived in the 1700s in Brazil. She was then manumissioned. She was freed by her own owner who loved her very, very much. And they lived together in a stable union and she became very, very rich because she was living as a free woman together with her husband and he was a commercial for diamonds and he was said to be even richer than the king of Portugal himself. So she was queen Chica da Silva. So a voz que vem do gueto, resistência no tambor. I am this voice that comes from the ghetto, resistance in the drums. Pilão de preto velho, eu sou. So, pilão is the mortar of preto velho. Preto velho is one of the spiritual entities present in the Umbanda religion. They are spirits of ex-slaves. Eu so I am. So, I am the mortar of the preto velhos. <laughs> No Rio Batuqueiro, so in the Rio, the drama, Macumba o ano inteiro, so magic all year. Não nego meu valor, axé, I don't deny my value, axé. Axé is this energy, is this blessing from the Umbanda and Candomblé religion. Gingado de malandro, so the ginga, the movement, the cadence of a malandro. If you don't know what a malandro is, I also have a playlist, a full playlist about the malandros here on the channel. Make sure you check it out. I'll leave it in the description of this video. Kizomba e capoeira. Two different kinds of dance, dance martial arts, kizomba and capoeira. Cachambu e jongo. Also two different kinds of dance. Cachambu e jongo, they are basically said to be the same. It's just two different names. And jongo is, is thought to be a dance that originated samba. It's a circular dance. It is originated by the slaves, just like um, kizomba and capoeira. It's a circular dance and one of the most prominent moves in that dance is when the dancers, the two dancers in the middle of the circle, touch belly buttons. And that is called samba. So perhaps it evolved to samba as we know today. Very interesting. I, and I have had the privilege to be invited to teach samba in the Martinique, where they have a dance called Belay, 
where they also dance in a circle and also touch the belly button. So you see again the, the places in which slavery was present and how these cultures evolved diff apart from one another, but they have the same origin because the samba in Brazil or the jongo in Brazil is not the same as the ballet in the Martinique but they are very similar. Fena Rezadeira, so faith in the prayer. Rezadeira is the magical wise woman. Tempero de Yaya, so the seasoning or the cooking of Yaya. Yaya is the motherly figure, um, usually the black women who would be in the kitchen. Non tenho mais senhor, I don't have a senhor anymore. Senhor is the, the words that they use to address their, their, their owner, so the owner of the, of the farm or of the plantation, the slaves. E nunca mais senha, and never again senha. So I'll never again have a senha, the, the women, the spouse um, of that owner. Sambo para resistir, I samba to resist. Semba, my, my, meus ancestrais. So semba again, the words that originated samba, the belly buttons, my ancestors. Samba pelos carnavais, samba through the carnivals. Torrão Amado, o lugar onde eu nasci. Torrão Amado is a very endearing way of calling Salgueiro. Torrão is a piece of land, a bit dry, a bit burnt by the fire. Amado, beloved. So my beloved land, the place where I was born. Torrão Amado, lugar onde eu nasci. Torrão Amado is also, uh, these two words are also present in the hymn, uh, the anthem of Salgueiro. Salgueiro, meu torrão amado, onde eu nasci e eu fui criado. So, Salgueiro, my beloved land where I was born and raised. So again, the Salgueiro 2022 has a direct connection to their own anthem. O povo me chama assim. People call me that way. Salgueiro! Salgueiro, Salgueiro, o amor que bate no peito da gente, sabia me ensinou, sou diferente. And this is the chorus, Salgueiro, Salgueiro, the love that beats within our chests. Sabia taught me I am different. Um, this is the, definitely the sentence of the part of the, of the Samba Enredo that gives me goosebumps. And Sabia taught me I am different. Sabia refers to Jauma Sabia. Jauma Sabia was one of the founders of the Samba school Salgueiro. And it's also, Sabia is a small bird that we have in Brazil. I think it's a sparrow. Is it? Anyway, and this small bird is also the mascot of Salgueiro. It was presented to the world last year. Um, so it's like a bird, has a, a malandro hat, and that's the mascot of Salgueiro, Sabia. Also a direct connection to the founder of the school. So that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy this explanation and this direct translation. And see you next time with another Samba Enredo. Bye! Okay.